Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can use Office UI Fabric React grouped list in a SPFX web part. So we will create a client chart SPFX web part and then I will show you how we can use this uh, React grouped list control. Now basically we are going to create something like this. So and there will be certain icons and if you will collapse it if, if it expand it you can see some text here and these things are coming from a SharePoint list so if I will show you um, here is the SharePoint list you can see the title so which text is appearing and then there is an icon category I have taken a column uh, so that we can use this column as displaying the icon in, uh, in our SPFX web part also i have created a complete blog post for the same i'll put the link in the video description you can also download the project from this article url this is a zip file you can download it and you can uh, use it now what we will do is i have a folder so you can see here i'm keeping all my uh, folders here all my uh, solutions here so i will put the command prompt i'll open the command prompt here so what i'll do here is we will create a folder here so i will go and do this spfx fabric ui demo let's say i'll say like this and uh, then we'll let's navigate to that folder so spfx fabric ui demo and uh, what now we will do is we'll run the command here your microsoft slash sharepoint so you can see here now the project uh, it will create the solution so that uh, we can uh, see what are the options that we can select from here so you can see here now it is uh, uh, this one has been uh, it shows a welcome message with the sharepoint clients and solution generator so let the solution name be like this you can simply click over enter and then we'll target only sharepoint uh, online latest version so you can just enter it we'll create we'll use the current folder and the next thing we don't want this to be allowed so i'll select no and the next one also i'll select no so as i said here we will create a web part so i'll select this web part option what is the web part name so you can provide a web part name i'll give your uh, the default one so you can see here and then i will select react for the framework here so you can see here this is the react framework so click on enter so once you click on enter it will take some time and then it will create our complete uh, um, solution or the project and then we can use our visual studio code to open that solution and then you can start working from there but what i have done here is uh, i have created the complete project here so let it be running so what i'll do here is i will uh, you can see here this is uh, the uh, complete project here so i'll open and i'll explain the code completely so let me open it again now here i will go to that particular folder so you can see now we are in this folder so i'll simply uh, i'll put code dot so that it will the solution will get opened in visual studio code so now you can see here this is the solution and here if you will see this is the uh, source folder under that you can see here this component files um, component folder is there and within that our component uh, file as well and uh, so um, when you will actually download this project you will go to the same thing without node underscore modules and then uh, you can just uh, use npm i so that it will install and you can see the complete thing so before going further so if you are interested to learn sharepoint i have a complete sharepoint training course so this is more than uh, 60 hours and then in there is 23 modules are there uh, including spfx power platform everything also you can go here and then you will be able to see the entire complete training course you can access it uh, uh, a lifetime so uh, here i have explained it uh, module wise what are the things are there so this is a complete training if you want to learn sharepoint from the beginning to the advanced level 
now what we will do here is so uh, first thing is you can see here there is a properties file i have added the site url uh, because as i said we are going to read the icons and the title from the sharepoint list so if you look at this this is the list from where we are going to read it uh, so for that reason you can see i put site url and then if you go to the web part dot uh, or ts file so you can see here this is the uh, url that we are passing it apart from that the next changes that whatever you will do all in the component file so you can see i have used the group list uh, i have imported this everything from uh, from the classes you can see here and then uh, there is the interface items so and then there is a result any so in that you can see here this is the interface i document which is having title and icon category so then you can see here in the state there are items and results and in the component will mount method you can see here get a grouped list data so what we are doing here is we are getting the data using rest api you can see here this is the list name and we are pushing everything into this array uh, so basically this is an item array uh, so here title and icon category you can see here uh, both this uh, thing i am passing it so it is adding into this icon array and if you look at this render method so in this render method you can see there is the group list and here we are calling various methods or items which is nothing state dot result and then groups you can see here we are getting it from i uh, this is the method so if you look at this method so you can see this is the method and on this uh, group by sorted items so we are getting this icons from here and uh, next thing what we are doing here is uh, you can see this on render cell so here what we are doing is so in in the div we have put it item title and this is font size large uh, padding left 25 pixel i have added into this so um that is one thing that we are doing here. and then there is group properties you can see here there is a group list props so what we are doing here is on render header one method is there so on this basically if you'll see here uh, the toggle uh, so so that it will open in collapse and expand mode so there is icon we are using uh, and this icon is coming from uh, that uh, um, whatever the icon we have added in the particular uh, uh, SharePoint list so you can see uh, this is what we are using on click uh, it will do a collapse and if it is not there so you can see that we are doing here so and then icon name you can see here props dot group dot name so the name is coming uh, like based on the icon that we have taken from that SharePoint list so this is uh, just the simple thing that we have used here um, now if you want to run it so what we will do here is so you can run the golf shop here so that it will open uh, this this one in the local workbench and we can test this by opening the SharePoint online site uh, workbench uh, but it is necessary that the local workbench should be in the running mode so you can now see here uh, the golf uh, serve it is locally running now so you can see uh, this is what is running let me just refresh once so now you can see here now if you'll click on this then there is a uh, fabric ui grouped list is there but we cannot run this in locally local workbench so what i'll do here is i will open the sharepoint workbench here so you can see i'll just put it here now look at this so this is our sharepoint workbench so i will select this web part fabric ui, UI group list so i'll click on add web part so you can see here fabric ui group list you can see this is the web part and now you can see here so if you'll expand it you can see the text is also there so this is how we can use the sp uh, spfx and ui fabric uh, group list so this is react control uh, with icon we have uh, seen it here so what you can do here is uh, if you want to run this project um, and if you want to deploy to your uh, 
uh, SharePoint online environment, then you can run these commands gulp serp hyphen uh, gulp bundle hyphen hyphen safe and then gulp uh, package hyphen solution hyphen hyphen safe. So once you uh, run these two commands, then uh, you will be able to uh, see this SharePoint folder within that. Uh, you will be able to see the sol uh, the uh, dot package file which you can upload to your app catalog site or your uh, any of uh, any of your site collection app catalog site wherever you want to add you can add it and also uh, if you, when you visit this uh, tutorial link you can see there is option where you can download this uh, particular spfx solution and then you can just run npm i uh, make sure that the list should be available and then once it is available you will be able to see the output now if you want similar kind of videos then do subscribe to our youtube channel you'll get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 spfx power platform all these videos you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day